Legislative session could gavel to a close this week. Tomorrow is supposed to be the final day, but lawmakers saved a controversial proposal for the very end. WHO 13 Zach Fisher joins us live from the State House now. Zach, we're talking about a bill to arm school staff, and it made it to the House floor today. You're exactly right, Aaron. It's been talked about all session long, and just to clear up any confusion, teachers are allowed to have firearms in school districts if the school district allows it. Uh, now it's just adding a professional permit. The Iowa Senate amended that bill just last week, taking out a grant program that would have allowed for private security and SROs to be funded for more rural school districts, but that part taken out of uh, that bill, so the bill passing today in a partisan manner with House Democrats voting against it, the bill only having the professional permit uh, set up to carry in school buildings that are handed out by the Department of Public Safety. Republican lawmakers think that this will help provide a quick response. Democrats are concerned about safety. Time and math do not lie. The first 30 seconds in these scenarios are extremely critical. This bill does set a high standard for districts and staff that want to participate this and go the extra mile to protect our kids. It does nothing to protect children who might be the victim of crossfires, of accidents, of a gun not being properly uh, stored, or a curious student finding a gun and accidentally injuring other children. There are liability concerns uh, in this bill that House Democrats had issues with as well. Going back several months ago, all the way to subcommittee, uh, the NRA was there. They were against this piece of legislation because you could view professional permits as maybe adding restrictions to having firearms in school buildings. And the Department of Public Safety, too, uh, they were just letting people know that if they have to train people for these professional permits, they currently didn't have the staff several months ago. So it'll be interesting to see that transition. Now the bill able to be signed into law by the governor, Aaron. Okay, we'll continue to follow all of those parts of it. Thanks, Zach. Yeah.